Hello and welcome to PoE for Dummies, Tools for Path of Exile. In this series, I will try to explain Path of Exile tools that I use or that other people in the community use for easier search or items, doing things, and so on and so forth. This first episode will cover Awakened PoE Trade. As you can see on screen, you've probably seen this add-on by other people, streamers, YouTubers, and so on that they use, but there hasn't been that many explanations in detail for beginners and so on. So in this one, I will sort of guide you through the whole process of installation, through everything. I will have a notepad with everything that I said written, posted in the description below. It will be on my Discord as well, so that will be a, a link as well so you can see it, read it for yourself and so on, if you like to follow the reading process instead of listening. So for Awakened PoE Trade, how do we get this simple add-on? Of course, we go to Google, we click Awakened PoE Trade, and the first link is the GitHub link. So, snos me, Awakened PoE Trade, yes. And that's what we click. So we open it there, it will show you this page for Awakened PoE Trade. Of course, it will show you who made it and so on and so forth. These guys are all amazing. And there will be a hyperlink here that you would click. So you would click the hyperlink. It will open it here and it will show you what it can support, what not. I suggest going into Windows 10 Plus installer. If you have 10 or 11, I have Windows 11 or Linux. It doesn't work for Mac and the portable one. The, or it does work for Mac, but there's no updates and for portable one as well. So you have to do it manually. Once it downloads, it will be in your download folder. You can open this one from here immediately. Once you open it, you just click it on and install it wherever you'd like. You can install it on your C drive, on your drive where your path of exile is in a separate folder, of course, and so on and so forth. Now, once you install the actual program, it will have like a small check mark here. Let me let me show you. It will have like a small thing. Awaken PoE Trade. There we go. It will show you in the middle. Awaken PoE Trade is running in the background. And once it does do that, if it decides to, there we go. Awaken PoE Trade is ready and running in the background. You can then either open the game or you can open it via taskbar. So in the taskbar, you can right click the icon. You can click on the settings league. Settings League, it will tell you open the PoE and so on. Or you can do it right click open in browser. If you click open in browser, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the same program, same program, but opened in the browser. This is if you'd like to ease easily like edit it and so on and so forth. I will, for the sake of this video, keep it mainly for the browser. It is the same here as well. Do not worry, it's exactly the same. So everything is shown here other than when you mouse over, mouse over stuff, I think I need to hide this or not. No, other than when you mouse over the images, images are enlarged in the actual game while they are not on the browser. Okay, so here's the, the, the text, the script that I made for this video and so on and so forth. We start with settings. Settings, you have your basic hotkeys. You can choose whatever hotkey opens the Awaken PoE Trade window for trading. Default is Control D and it has an auto hide mode. If you just press Control D, it will do it like this. Control D, I lift my fingers and then I mouse over to it and it disappears. If I press Control D, Control D on an item and I hold the Control key, it won't disappear here and then I can leave it and so on, but it will disappear if you move it like that. If you press Control Alt D, pardon, Control Alt D, and I've moved it, it won't disappear when it comes to the the screen, the mouse overs and, and whatnot. It will disappear if you like click, click it, click it off. So there's that option. That's the first option. That's open without auto hide. You can set this as any keys and so on and so forth, whatever suits you the best. I keep these things basically as default as possible. Now for the overlay itself, it's shift space, shift space again to unclick it or click it off. 
that simple. Map check is and item info are for me semicolon for the purpose of this video, which is basically if you want to check the map, you mouse over the map, you press the button, and it will show you what the boss is on that map with like an image image one and then you can choose profiles and so on so that's basically that's basically it it will show you what the boss is it works for any other map as well so mouse over the map do that and it will show you what the boss of the map is i don't personally use this option because i generally know what these are but i got that from playing the game for so darn long same for item info you mouse over an item you press you press it and it will show you there you can click on the wiki PODB craft of exile so if you click wiki it will open of course in the wiki page you can open the item type in the wiki page so you can browse it a little bit more this works with uh, with many items and think it also works with gems so let's let's give it a try it does work with gems you can go with PODB directly instead of going to uh, PoE wiki but that's an option as well. Now, next one is next one is grid for delve chart. Grid for delve chart is a little bit interesting because delve functions in a three by three squares. And if you do a grid for delve chart, it will show you this. Now, what does this do is basically it shows you where like the, these are like the two nodes. It will show you where most likely you will find um, uh, yeah, where most likely you will find a cave, an opening, and so on, with those destructible balls. It functions in 3x3, three three. usually in every 3x3 three three, there is one, one place where you can have the cave for, like, these, these nodes, infested thickets. So here, it would be, if you, if you put it like this, it would be most likely, like, from this one or from this one, that it opens towards the currency now that's for the this part of settings you can of course disable it by clicking uh, the same button again let's continue onwards we have chat now for chat and items it uh, has the last whispers these are the people who have supported the the poe trade great people um it's a free to use program, keep in mind, but if you want to support the development, you can by Patreon donating. Now, this is what I use. I use the hideout command that basically puts me... Actually, let's let's use the logout command. So I use the logout command, I pressed F2, there it is, I enter the game. Once I enter the game, Karui Shores, I will press F4, F4, and I will go into my own hideout. Those are the exit game and hideout commands. You use those if you want to avoid death and if you want faster going to your hideout instead of clicking to clicking on the map on the portal thingy and then clicking on your hideout and so on or typing slash forward slash hideout exit and so on. You can of course use last thank you, invite last, trade with last, hideout last, that's for trading. If you want to like quickly do some trades, you can invite people and so on and so forth. I usually don't use, use this because it can be confusing if you have multiple things on sale and you're doing a map and it invites the last person, who did I invite and so on and so forth. So I keep this option off for me, but if you want to use it, there is an option too. Now, general tab is your general thing. You can choose the language. There's English and I think Russian only. So there are those two. Font size, what font you want to use. Restore clipboard. Of course, clipboard is where you copy paste your items. Log files and so on. Transparent or color screen for background. You can do transparent and then there, there won't be anything. Oh yeah, I forgot to save. And there won't be, won't be anything, of course. But there's, there's those options. So... There's for, of course, um, restart required for POE window title and so on. Now you have price check. Price check is your first thing that you would do when you start this, this program. And you would click on the current league or standard if you use standard and play standard a lot. Or if you use hardcore or specified private leagues. Then you can follow a certain account name, show seller, account name and so on. And the most important one, fill stat values. This means if an item has, let's say, 100 health on it, or let's say this one has 29 to maximum life and 58, and it, it has 87 total, but it checks like 85. 
So you can put that as exact value or you can leave it as like 10% fill in plus minus. So it does like if it's 100, then it goes from 90 to 110, sort of, sort of, or it goes 95, 105. So that's, that's how to check. This is for price checking items that have a little bit less life, but are maybe astronomically less in cost. Everything else is a bit more a bit more advanced for price prediction and so on and so forth. So it, I wouldn't recommend using that for beginners. I recommend leaving it as is. Map check. Map check is an option that you want to select what map mods are dangerous, what map mods. So dangerous, deadly, and uh, safe to run. This function is the same as map regex, which is one of the tools I will show in one of the next videos. And this basically, if you roll like a lot of maps, like quad tab of maps, and then you alk spam them and, and so on, and it will show you what maps have the modifiers you have been searching for or what modifiers you do not want to run on your map. It will highlight them and it will exactly show you what you don't want to do. So in map regex, it does the con the counter thing, contrary thing, pardon, where it doesn't um, light them up. So there's there's a little bit of a learning curve there. I do not suggest doing this because for beginners, I suggest doing one by one map. So just alk the map, scour map, alk the map, scour map. If it's uh, for progress, for red map, then you have to alk it in certain mods, with certain mods that you'd like, and then Valor bit, and so on and so forth. So I do not recommend this one for beginners. Now, item info. Item info is basically if you want to open the previous option that, that I've shown, like this, this item info, but directly to websites. Simple, I don't use it. Debug and about show you the debug options and about as well for the version of the POE trade. You can check here if the version has been updated or not, or if it has been updated, but you forgot to update it, you can always go to taskbar, right click it, and above here, above settings in league, there will be like update available, please restart client. You click quit, and then you wait 5, 10, 20 seconds. You find it again, awaken period trade, open it. If it says shortcut not available, click no. You don't want to delete the shortcut. It is still updating. Wait a little bit more and launch it again, and it will update it. And that's it. So once again, if you want to find the full script for this video, the full script will be on the Discord and uh, you can always check it there. There's one last thing that we need to cover and those are these images and these searches on the side. So how to input these images? So you have these these images that you want to do. Maybe you don't know exactly how June mechanic works, what things re are rewarded and so on, but you want to find it here in quick glance for mouse over, that's what I do. Or if you're doing Temple of Azuatl for Alva, I need to rework this this with my own with my own things. But you can choose like which rooms are where and so on and so forth. So that's basically, it shows you what room upgrades to what and what room gives you what. Or for Sanctum, basically what floor, what rooms do this and that. Then there are act maps that I've made for finding labs in acts, gem rewards, item rewards, bandits, and so on. That's basically to pay attention to your quests and how to do quests easily with just a quick, quick glance. Aha, okay, this map has a lab in it. Of course, through all, Act 1 to 5 and 6 to 10. I have these posted in my in my videos uh, for for running the the maps for running the the um, leveling process with me and that's also in my discord now let me show you just how do we how do we do this we click edit we choose a file and you will be prompted with uh, let's see can i can i can i can i no i cannot do it from here i will do it i will do it from here so we click edit okay so Something didn't work. Let's do it again. We, of course, find the find the, the thing. Shift space. We click to choose a file. Then it will open a separate window, which is basically to to choose a file. We choose a file. Let's say it's it's affliction. So I will choose that. It will upload it there. I will click edit again. Or if you want to move it, like you can drag it, move it, do whatever you want with it. You can delete it on the X above. Click edit again, and then 
here's my thumbnail for for affliction as an example for one of my one of my videos now if you want to remove it remove it here's more things map rolling this basically shows you like the map if you want to go into your map so i have here like two maps if i want to have like vulnerability it will do it uh, do it here in the box in the search bar and it will show me map with vulnerability so it highlights the map the problem is this character like limit here is 50 so you can't do too many of these this is just the worst version of uh, regex this is just for very quick 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 glancing on uh, the maps and what you can choose so use it it's very simple you can edit to for it to have whatever else you would like okay we hide this and there is dump sorting which basically means that you can select from your from your dump tab what you want to find so if you want to find currency it will show you like currencies if you want to find uh, divination card it will show you divination cards and so on uh, this is done for these like small specified items but with uh, affinity tabs it's a bit sorted via path of exile themselves so for affinity tabs you go to stash options enable tab affinities you don't want auto navigation because that will slow down the the stash dumping and then every tab that you want you can right click you can choose affinity currency and so on for like big quad tabs you can choose a lot more and it will auto dump it there you cannot have the tab with the same two tabs with the same affinity keep that in mind now i think that should finally cover everything oh price check one more thing, price check. If you want to price check something without using the Control D option, you can use Control C, which copies the item, con Shift Space, price check top left corner, price check Control V, and it will do the same thing. It will exactly do the same thing. So, with that being said, that covered it all. So, this has been an extensive beginner guide for, for PoE for Dummies. I basically use use this tool consistently and you can see me use it on streams and so on to price check items and so forth now one more last one last thing i want to say before i end the video if you want to check items specifically you can always so let's say Control alt d check the item and you want to tick like a few things you can always tick them search and it will show you the price with the modifier specified here. If you want more DPS, let's say for 20 DPS, it will show you there. And if you want to open it, you click trade window and it will open it in trade. So you can start finding your items that you would like to purchase and so on. So keep that in mind. That's how it works. And you can always select like in show filters and you can add more stuff here. Now for beginners, I suggest just basic price checking, which would be, let's say, headpiece. This is a basic headpiece or actually basic gloves, pardon, basic gloves. You would go here, you would select what you want. If you want to change the base, you just unclick the armor and it will show you like with, uh, with energy shield and everything else. And if you want to add modifiers, remove modifiers, so on, so forth, it will show you excess and extra options. Of course, you can always modify these options to be higher or lower by scroll wheel or by typing, typing them out, etc. But that would now finally cover it. Good luck with using the tool. Feel free to post any comments down below. If you like the video, please do give it a like. Sub if you don't mind. Thank you so much for your support. Hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video of this series, which is PoE for Dummies Tools of Path of Exile. Have a good one.